She has been dubbed the doomsday mom. Lori Vallow Daybell on trial for murder and conspiracy in the deaths of her children. And Daybell also faces charges in connection with the death of her husband, Chad's ex-wife. We're expecting closing arguments tomorrow. And this one is a real attention getter due to some of the beliefs about the end of the world, plus talk about zombies and demonic possession. Our legal analyst, Greg Isaacs, joins the conversation now to take it one more step. Thanks for being here. Lori, it's great to be here. You know, no matter how out there someone's beliefs might be, there is no insanity defense in Idaho where this case is being tried. So what does this mean for Lori Daybell? Well, Lori, I had the opportunity to cover parts of this trial, mm -hmm. and it was bizarre. Uh, it is a doomsday cult. She thinks she is a zombie princess. Uh, it's alleged she killed her two children with Chad Daybell. Uh, both of them, uh, they think, killed their respective spouses. And there was tape after tape and witness after witness uh, that would say things like uh, Lori Daybell would tell us uh, her children had turned into zombies. They were climbing the walls in the kitchen mm -hmm. and, and they were saying it with a straight face. Uh, so very bizarre. And, and against the backdrop of mm -hmm. Idaho, which is one of an increasing amount of states uh, that doesn't recognize the insanity defense. You know, you look at everything that she has said through text and, and just what we've le learned about this defendant. And you have to wonder uh, how she could have passed the mental competency part of this you, you to know, stand trial. Right, and, and you know, it's interesting if you apply Tennessee's uh, insanity standard mm -hmm. uh, to these facts. Ours is different. Ours is different. And it, you can in Tennessee raise the uh, defense of insanity. Mm -hmm. It's an affirmative defense that you have to prove by clear and convincing evidence. So you have to show one, a severe uh, mental illness through experts, which it appears uh, that she did. But like all insanity cases, the second prong is the most difficult. You gotta prove that because of that severe mental illness, mm -hmm. she couldn't understand what she was doing or what she was doing was wrong. Right so, from wrong. Right yeah. from wrong. And you know, in this case, there was planning, there was uh, hiding of the bodies of the children, and uh, a plot, they actually, she and Chad Daybell, uh, husband number four, moved to Hawaii while all this was going on. So, while the kids were missing. So, so, you know, in this hurricane of insanity, uh, there's always some lucidity. So even if Idaho had recognized the death penalty, there was a lot of planning. But Lori, again, wow. a real life uh, day of the walking dead. Uh, she told, I mean, the jury heard for 56 witnesses uh, week after week. Um, and we'll find out soon. Hey, before we, yeah, before we let you go, uh, taking it back to Tennessee and just other cases that do accept the insanity plea, d does it work? Lori, here, here's the, the recent stats. 99% mm -hmm. of all insanity cases nationwide fail. There are wow. only 30 successful insanity cases uh, in the United States. Interesting. And we'll be watching this case. We will. Thank you, Greg.